the Western democracies have been evacuated of any meaning and the plutocracy is what we have. I just wonder, do you vote in general elections in, in America or, or would you advise somebody in UK to go and vote next year in general elections? <laughs> My feeling is that it's a, it's a decision, but it's the kind of decision that's kind of 10th order. I think it should be made in five minutes. Uh, sometimes there's a point in voting, like there's a, you know, it could be, wor there's worse and less worse. Okay, it might make a difference. And I occasionally, I sometimes vote, I sometimes I voted for Republicans because they were better, you know, uh, not in presidential elections. But uh, most of the time, you know, it's, it's a very small decision. Uh, maybe if, if you can, you just have to compare the alternatives and see if there's on balance any difference. But it doesn't seem to me a fundamental question. The real problem is what to do about the fact that we don't live in political democracies. That's the real problem. So take the United States, which I know better and has been studied more intensively. In the United States, it is literal. You can read in academic political science, not on the left, that about 70% of the population lowest 70% on the income scale, is entirely disenfranchised, meaning their opinions have zero impact on policy, even their own representatives. They're simply ignored. One of the reasons why they don't vote, I mean, they may not read the scientific journals, but they know it in their lives. As you move up the income scale, you can start getting a little more influence, as measured by the relation between attitudes and policy. Okay. When you get to the very top, which is a fraction of 1%, policy is made. Okay, what kind of a system is that? I mean, does it matter if you pick one or another representative? Sometimes it does, that kind of way out at the margin. But the real problem is the nature of the system. I don't think England is that much different.